students how are you in this video we are going to study our next chapter that is the 100 dresses part 1 now before i start the chapter i would like to tell you the short summary of this chapter so that it is easy for you to understand the 100 dresses is a sensitive story of three girls peggy mary and a polish girl called wanda so this story is about a school of a particular class in which there are many students who are studying in the class but here we are talking particularly about three children and the names of those three children are peggy mary and a polish girl whose name is wanda they go to the same school in an american town now they are living in the city of in one of the town of america so they all three uh, go to the same school and they study in the same class however wanda is poor she also has a name that others find funny now listening to the word wanda all children think that her name is very funny and because of this they always tease her they make fun of her but actually the economic background of wanda is very not very good she is from a poor family she also has a name that others find funny so they pick on her pick on her means they always tease her they make fun of her they mock at her among those who tease her the most is peggy now out of these two children peggy and mary peggy is the girl who is always making fun of wanda She asks Wanda questions about how many dresses she has or how many shoes she has and Wanda always gives improbable answers. Now how Peggy makes fun of Wanda by asking silly questions that how many dresses you have at your home or in your cupboard and how many shoes you have to wear and the answers that Wanda give to these questions they are improbable. What is the meaning of improbable? improbable means they are not of belief they are unbelievable okay the answers are uh, not trustworthy she says she has a 100 dresses all silk and velvet velvet of different colors lined up in her cupboard now she belongs to a poor family but when the question is asked that how many dresses she has what she says that i have about 100 dresses and those 100 dresses are put properly and neatly in my cupboard and not only this those 100 dresses are made up of velvet and silk peggy perceives it as odd that wanda should lie like this for this it is evident that she is poor she wears the same faded blue dress every day to school now when wanda gives this answer Peggy thinks that she is lying. She is not telling the truth. Why she is not telling the truth? Because she does not belong to a rich family. She belongs to a poor family. And every day in the school, she is wearing only one dress, and the color of the dress is blue. Why it is faded? Because the same dress she wears, and every day her parents wash the same dress. So because of again and again repeatedly washing, the color of the dress has gone. It has become very faded. Maddie feels a little uncomfortable when Peggy and the other girls accost Wanda, thus because she is too poor and wears hand-me-down clothes. Now, Maddie Peggy belongs to a very rich family, but Maddie is also uh, poor. she belongs to a poor family so when peggy makes fun of wanda she does not like this because she herself belongs to a poor family and she can understand that how a person will feel when some other person will mock at him or her wanda and her brother jake were also hackered for having the long and unfamiliar name of petrovsky now her surname the surname of wanda was petrovsky this surname was also funny so because both of the name and the surname people or students used to laugh at her because both the name and surname they were funny it is perhaps for these reasons that wanda sits in the last row of row 13 where the rough boys sit maybe she feels an affinity with these boys for like her they are too poor and drudge to school over long distances now all the students they are making fun of her nobody wants to talk to her nobody is interested to share her uh, each other's feelings so she always sits at the last second bench in the class 
where the boys are sitting those boys are sitting who come from the poor family so she feels some close relationship with those boys because they are also poor and she is also poor so she likes to sit at the last second bench with the poor boys Vanda would feel self-conscious sitting elsewhere with the well-dressed girls who clearly came from prosperous families. Now, in that class, in the front rows, those girls used to sit who belonged to the rich families, who every day came to the school with some new dress. So, whenever Vanda used to sit in the front row, she in the on the front bench, she used to feel very humiliated uh, uh, by sitting with those girls who belonged to the rich families because she herself was very poor so she never liked to sit in the front row she always liked to sit at the last bench on the day miss mazel would announce the winners of the drawing and coloring contest peddy and maggie maddy did not wait for vanda on oliver street to make fun of her on the day miss mazel would announce the winners of the drawing and coloring contest now there was a competition in the class related to drawing and coloring and miss mason maybe it is the name of the teacher so she was going to announce the names of the winners or the people the students who came first in this competition so paddy and maddy they uh, they were all curious to know about the names about the winners of the competition so today they did not wait for vanda every day they used to wait for vanda in the morning before coming to school just with the purpose of making fun of her or mocking at her but today as the names of the contestants were going to be announced so they were in very hurry so did not they did not wait for vanda they did not want to be late maddy was sure that paddy would win now maddy was thinking that my best friend paddy and maddy they were best friends so she thought that paddy will win the competition but the moment paddy and maddy entered the classroom they were taken aback taken aback means they were very surprised to see something what was it there were drawings of all over the room probably a hundred of them in dazzling colors and lavish designs so when they entered in the classroom they saw that the all the four walls of the classroom they were covered with beautiful drawings and designs miss mason said that one girl vanda had submitted not one or two but a hundred dresses so these dresses were uh portrayed in the form of pictures in the form of different colors actually she did not have 100 dresses dresses but she has drawn the design of different 100 dresses in very beautiful manner and other students they have submitted two or three drawings but vanda has submitted more than two or three drawings how many designs she has submitted 100 Each of her drawings were beautiful and deserved the first prize. Not only one drawing, but all the hundred drawings they were extremely good, and the teacher wanted to give her the first prize for all the drawings. In the opinion of the judges, Vanda Petrovsky was the winner. So the team of judges was sitting in the class, and in the opinion of the judges, who was the winner? Vanda Petrovsky, because she has made the beautiful drawings of those hundred. dresses now we come to the chapter the 100 dresses part 1 how do we judge the people around us by their money wealth and possession or is there something of more enduring value to look for in a person now before starting the uh, chapter the author asks one question that how we judge the people do we judge the people on the basis of their money or wealth they have that if the person is rich then only that person is good enough or something else we should look into a person is there only wealth to decide his personality or his characteristics are also important this story is a sensitive account of how a poor young girl is judged by her classmates now this is a story in which there is a school and in that particular school there is a class in that particular class there is a student whose name is vanda petrovsky she is very poor and because she is poor and her name is funny that's why all the students of the class they make fun of her vanda petrovsky is a young polish girl who goes to school with other american children in an american town basically she is very poor but she is uh, studying in an american school uh, which is situated in a particular town in america and like other children she also goes to that school these other children see vanda as different in many ways can you guess how they treat her 
Now, it is not only because that she belongs to a poor family, but there are various other reasons also because of which Wanda is treated very indifferently or very different from other students. So, all the other reasons are being mentioned in the story. And because of this, the other children, you will also learn when you will read the story, you will come to know that how other students of the same class behave with Wanda. Read the information in the box below. Find out about this community from an encyclopedia or the internet. Now we come to the chapter. Today Monday, Wanda Petrovsky was not in her seat. Means today was Monday and she was not present in the class. But nobody, not even Peggy and Madeline, the girls who started all the fun, noticed her absence. Now, other children along with Wanda were also sitting in the class. They were Peggy and Madeline. But both of these students, they have not seen that Wanda is absent today. Because they were all busy in their fun, in their jokes. Usually, Wanda sat in the seat next to the last seat in the last row in room number 30. Now, what is the usual normal seat of Wanda? Where she used to sit? She used to sit in the last row in room number 30. The last row in the last seat she used to sit in room number 30. She sat in the corner of the room where the rough boys who did not make good marks sat the corner of the room where there was most scuffling of feet, most rows of laughter when anything funny was said and most mud and dirt on the floor. Now, what was special about the last seat in the last row of the class? What was special? That the children who belong to the poor class families, all the boys used to sit in the last row, on the last benches. And uh, generally it is thought, it is a general belief that the last benches of the class, they are not at all concerned with the studies. They are only involvement in amusement, in enjoyment, in making jokes. And those students who are sitting in the front row in the class, only they are concerned or they concentrate on studies. So, along with the students who are sitting in the last row, in the last, uh, on the last bench of the class, those students, they were all involved in funny things, in absurd things, in making fun of others. And with those children, Wanda used to sit. And another thing was, at the last benches, the floor was very dirty. It was not at all clean. The floor was clean only in the front portion. Wanda did not sit there because she was rough and noisy. This is not the reason that Wanda is very much interested in making fun of others or she is very talkative or she is very, uh, she, she does not concentrate on her studies. She is only involved in making fun of others. This is not the reason that she was sitting on the last bench. On the contrary, means other than this, she was very quiet. By nature, she was very quiet. She does not talk too much. And rarely said anything at all. Means she was not at all talkative. Very few words she used to say. And nobody had ever heard her laugh aloud. Means she was also not laughing in the class. Very gently she used to smile on me. Loud noise of laugh was not heard. Sometimes she twisted her mouth into a crooked sort of smile. But that was all. Now what is the meaning of crooked sort of smile? Crooked means in a very sarcastic manner, in the way of making fun of others. That is crooked smile. So she only made a crooked smile on her face, but she never used to laugh. Nobody knew exactly why Wanda sat in that seat unless it was because she came all the way from Boggins Heights and her feet were usually capped with dry mud. Now, exactly nobody knew the reason that why Wanda used to sit in the last row at the last bench. Maybe because she came all the way from Bogin Heights. Bogin Heights means it was a poor area of that particular American town. So maybe because she belonged to that poor community, she was coming from that dirty area. That's why she used to sit at the last bench. And her feet, when she used to come by walking, there was no transport available for her. So, on the whole way, she had to walk from home to school. So, while walking, her feet, they were covered with mud. So, maybe because of this reason, her clothes are dirty, her feet are dirty. Maybe because of this reason, she sits at the last bench. 
but no one really thought much about Vanda Petrovsky once she sat in the corner of the room. But nobody was concerned about her. Nobody thought about her feelings. Nobody thought that how she would feel when she used to sit at the last bench in the last room. Everybody was in, uh, involved in himself or herself only. Nobody thought about her. The time when they thought about Vanda was outside of school hours at noon time when they were coming back to school or in the morning early before school began when groups of two or three or even more would be talking and laughing all the way to the school year. Now in the class nobody was thinking of Vanda. If the children used to think of Vanda, what was the time either in the morning before coming to school or after the school when they returned back to their home. On the way, they were thinking of Vanda because for them, Vanda was only a person on whom they can laugh. It was a matter. She was a matter of laugh for all, matter of amusement for all. So everybody just want to spend some time by making jokes with her, laughing at her, making fun at her. Only for the time pass, people used to talk to Vanda. So the time when they used to remember they thought of Vanda was only in the morning time or in the afternoon time after the school hours. During the school hours, nobody paid attention to Vanda. Now the remaining part of the story I will discuss in the another video. Thank you.